G'day guys, my name's Sam Power, driver of the 27 car, the Childhood Cancer Car, welcoming you to round four for the Australian Carrera Cup in sunny Townsville. After last round, we're back to our normal race formats with uh, three races spanning over the weekend. A little bit different from the, the two endurance races. Also completely different is that we're at a street track now. So lots of walls, very exciting racing, high intensity. Uh, definitely good to be back in the street tracks. It's technically, it's a pretty technical track. Um, there's a lot of stop and start stuff, so we need to make sure we get that right, set the car up right. No mistakes, you can't make a mistake here. We just got to hopefully it'll rubber up and, and, and get as much grip as we can and stay off the walls, number one priority. It's a bit of a, a hybrid sort of circuit. It only utilises two actual streets here and then the whole virtual infield section is all purpose built. So it's good fun, it's hard work uh, and, you're, and you're busy the whole lap. What a huge team effort for my uncles, myself and Team BRM. We had a smashed up car at Phillip Island. We've had to completely rebuild it by ourselves. We've come here without a shakedown. Thanks to Onsite Rental Group, we've put it on pole and Porsche Gold Coast and Porsche Australia. To come here and put it on pole is important. Being a street circuit, it, you, know, you need to be up the grid, so that was great. percent strike rate at the moment doing it ourselves. So I think BRM and my boys, my uncles, my sponsors, Onsite Rental Group, Porsche Cars Australia and um, Porsche Centre Gold Coast. To come here and be quickest and quality was nice but I had a pit lane infringement so that was my fault, I should know better. And uh, didn't get a real good start and luckily there was a bit of carnage in the first couple of corners and I just happened to slice through a gap that wasn't really there. So got in front of Steve Grove and pulled away from him which was good. Then. Uh, he started to reel me in with sort of four or five to go and to his credit he didn't sort of punch me off anywhere when he probably could have. So that was really good sporting of Steve and you know, he's a good steer, he's doing really well this weekend and uh, tomorrow it could be anyone, you know, I'll, um, I'll be in front but um, you've got to get a good start round here and anything happens in those first few corners. particularly after mucked up and qualifying a little bit and um, getting the starting to dial the car into the way it waits should have been at the start. Yeah, it was great. It was really hard. I knew I had to get going early because it's 
a street circuit, it's really tight, so we needed to sort of push on, so I managed to get Largo early and then I just pushed as hard as I could. <laughs> On the run to turn three, but Richards in clean there. Great start. Look at that, that was close. Foster hangs on, Davies has to slot in, and that gives Craig Baird an opportunity for oh. the off the road with Nick McBride at the sweeper. And this is Nick McBride having a little look at Padiachi over the backside of the circuit, turn six. Car in the wall in the background. I think that was James Burfula in the Porsche Centre Brighton car. He takes to the concrete really hard in the background. Well, this is Sam Power, rookie this year in Carrera Cup. That was close. The old over and under on the exit of turn two. You've got to be really mindful of the guy on the outside there because it's so easy just to take your traditional line. They're lucky to get out of that no, lineup, no, actually. I thought someone was tasting concrete yeah, there. So did I. Let's go to the elite class here. You talk about Stephen Grove earlier on. He's leading elite class, which we should point out. Professionals at the front, elite class drivers, uh, essentially amateur gentleman drivers, and Stephen Grove is leading that class. Ninth overall, Tony Bates is second, tenth overall, and Roger Largo's eleventh and third overall. They're all together on the road as well. Davies having a little bit of a look Whoa, at that's right, that's he's late. locked the brakes that's and he's made contact oh, with the championship leader and his teammate and he's wiped him out and yeah, he looks damaged. Finally, Richo is going to break through, he's going to win a round of Carrera Cup after three and a half years and he's done it in style. And with Warren Luff a failure to finish in this race, it's on, the championship is just about all square. Yeah, look, there's been there's been plenty of opportunities, you know, there's been a couple where I've made a little bit of a mistake and that's cost me and... Uh, other times we just haven't had the pace, you know, but, um, you know, we seem to have the pace this year. The, the, the car's definitely working better. I, I have so much confidence driving the thing, and, um, yeah, we've just got to see see how the rest of the year plays out, but we're, we're on the right track, no doubt. Yeah, it was really good to, to get two firsts and a second. He was fantastic. It's just about trying to get up the front on a street circuit and try and keep away from the walls and keep away from the blokes chasing us. So it was really good. I hope you enjoyed that race, I certainly did. I've just jumped out of the car, third place for us, so that's fantastic. And I can only apologise for my inability to host a TV show, but I hope you're all looking forward to the next round, because I certainly am, and we'll see you over in, in sunny Eastern Creek.